Alright guys, welcome to my custom firmware video. What we're going to do now is install the custom firmware with our magic memory stick, which I have inside already, and our Pandora's battery. So what you want to do is, with the trigger that you set, you want to hold that down, so in my case it's fine. Oh, and also make sure that your AC adapter is in. So to start, what we're going to want to do is you're going to flip your PSP over and put the Pandora's battery in while holding down your trigger. So, let's do that right now. Alright, so I have left trigger assigned, which is right here. So I'm going to hold that down and place my Pandora's battery in. Now what should happen is it should automatically turn on just like that. Now, the first thing you want to do before you install, you see install 4.01 M33. You can clearly see that. But what you want to do is you want to go down to NAND, NAND operation. You should see dump and restore NAND. What you want to do is you want to hit dump NAND. Now what that's going to do is it, it's going to back up your NAND. Now if you don't do this, it will not install. And if your PSP crashes, it will be completely and forever screwed up. So it only takes about a minute out of your life and a minute out of the time to make your PSP's custom firmware. So I highly suggest you do it unless you want your PSP to be bricked forever. So we'll just wait for this to finish. It's pretty fast. Almost there. Keep going, buddy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Alright, it's at 90. Alright, now make sure you have your AC adapter plugged in all the time because since it's in Pandora's mode, it's not going to sustain any battery power. It has no battery power right now. Alright, so uh, it should find bad blocks. That's a fine, that's fine. That doesn't mean anything. Now what you want to do is you want to reboot the device. It will reboot your Pandora's battery. It should open right away. back into Pandora mode or my bad you want to slice that on alright so what you want to do is to restart just down you want to take out the battery Sometimes when you do not tape your battery closed, you will have difficulties like I'm having now. Alright, battery's out. Push it back in. I just didn't take it out of the way. Alright, battery's out. Now you want to push the battery back in while holding down your trigger. So, take it back out. Sorry guys, um, it's like late at night. Alright, that did do it. Just, instead of taking the battery out, you can slide the, tr slide the on button while holding your uh, trigger button. So now that you've done that, you can hit install uh, 4.01 M33. So, this is going to install, um, it's going to install, uh, it takes, uh, I would, I wouldn't say it's that long, but 
we will, unfortunately, we're going to watch this. Um, we're going to be back after this finishes, so don't think I'm skipping anything, but we're just skipping a, another five minutes of downloading. Alright guys, it is finished, so it will say install is complete, a shutdown or a reboot is required. So hit X and it will reboot. Except this time it will boot in your 4.01 custom firmware. Alright, there it is. And to prove you I am running on custom firmware. We can go to system settings, um, system information, it'll say clutches PSP 4.01 M33-2. And that's your proof for you. Now, there is 5.00 M33-3 out there. Now to do that, you need to, to update to the next version, you need to go to Dark Alex's website, download it, and drag it into your game file. Now, we all know how to do that. It's PSP. The d to get there, you go to your memory stick, you go to the PSP file, and you go to the file that says game, or the folder that says game, and you just drag in the update. And then to get to the update, you go to game on here, you go to memory stick, and there it, it should be. And then you just hit that, and you should be updating to the next version of your, um, firmware. So, it should look like this. It's not going to look like the other one with the fancy loading and everything. It's going to be the black screen and it's going to have um, all this. So, it does need 78% battery and I guess I don't have that right now. So, um, we'll be back in about a minute. Alright, sorry about that guys. I forgot to tell you that you need to restore your battery after installing custom firmware to update to the new one. So after that, you're going to go to PSP update because uh, Pandora's battery is not really a real battery as much as it's needed to install custom firmware. Um, you need a real battery because it needs to run on battery power right now. Okay. Sorry about this, guys. Um, I'm gonna be back after this finishes loading. Alright guys, sorry about that. Uh, what happened was you need at least 78% battery and I only have 70% so I had to wait for it to load back up. But I am right, by the way, you still do need your regular battery back to update. So I just did the update process. It simple. All you have to do is accept the terms uh, that you don't take credit for Dark Alex's work. So as soon as the update's complete, just hit X. It says you can now delete the uh, update off of your memory stick, and it will reboot for you into your new 5.00 M33 firmware. that load and to prove to you we'll go to system settings system information and 5.00 m33 so that is how to install custom firmware and this is also how to update for the um, 5.0 m33 which adds PlayStation Network support so thank you for watching this uh, tutorial uh, and please subscribe.